Hello, everyone. 那开始了啊、哦。呃、mm -hmm. uh, ，Dear friends, uh, welcome to our bamboo industry development webinar. And today is the fourth session. Uh, the session title is Production of Bamboo Charcoal and uh, mm -hmm. Brocades and Panets and their uh, applications. You know, bamboo charcoal can be an option of clean and renewable energy for for rural communities in developing countries, where it can be processed with simple techniques and equipment. In Africa, there is a huge potential for bamboo biomass for substitute water biomass to reduce deforestation and supply a number of energy products. Bamboo firewood, charcoal, bulkheads, combustible gases, and the valuable byproducts like bamboo vinegar. This session will introduce the processing techniques for bamboo charcoal, bulkheads, fuel panels, and their application. So after this session, and the, uh, you are welcome also to watch the recording video and uh, before our session we just played and a video for bamboo charcoal it's a very interesting very informative uh, video so today uh, we have three speakers uh, professor john professor Liu, and miss adana so our first speaker is professor john Wang biao he is a doctoral supervisor at the zhejiang agriculture and the forest university and uh, he is also deputy uh, director of provincial key laboratory of bamboo science and technology education. Professor Zhang has long been engaged in education, researches, and the social services of bamboo charcoal utilization. He has played a leading role in the uh, identification of relational and industrial standards of bamboo charcoal in China. He is a registered expert of international organization for, for standardization, ISO task force, uh, ISO TC 296. And he is also the chair of bamboo charcoal branch of the China Society of Bamboo Industry. Professor Zhang's presentation is production and application of bamboo charcoal. Professor Zhang, please.张老师，打开麦克风。呃，张老师好像没有分享您的PPT。现在可以听到，但是您的PPT没有分享。哦，那等一下我再重新听了。这个东西搞，waiting for minutes, sorry. Are 哦，等一下，等一下。先打开PPT，再分享。哦。来了。现在呢？好了。现在有了。现在有了。It's Good evening, everyone. My name is Zhang Wenbiao, coming from Zhejiang Agriculture and Forest University. My presentation is produce, production and application of bamboo charcoal. 
This is just a quick outline of what I'm going to talk about this evening. There are four parts. The first part I wanted to talk about is induction of bamboo charcoal, uh, bamboo charcoal blanket, and bamboo activity. First of all, what is bamboo charcoal? Bamboo charcoal is black solid polish product made of carbonized bamboo with limited oxygen conditions or no air available. The raw materials for bamboo charcoal manufacture are usually four-year colonial muscle bamboo and its processing residues in China. How do we classification according to shape and size of bamboo charcoal? Bamboo materials are cut down and heated in kilns using certain techniques, which results in different kinds of bamboo charcoal, such as tubular bamboo charcoal, bamboo charcoal flags, bamboo charcoal granules, and bamboo charcoal powder. Uh, bamboo charcoal blanket, the definition is shaped solid product of commonized bamboo particles or charcoal made by compensation or extrusion with or without a binding. Bamboo charcoal blanket can be subdivided into carbonized bamboo powder blanket, abbreviation CBPB, and a compensated bamboo charcoal powder blanket. BCPB. According to the production process, there have two different bamboo charcoal blanket. Uh, the left picture show, shows blanket is carbonization of bamboo powder blankets, and the left uh, and the right picture shows complexation of bamboo charcoal powders. Bamboo additive called uh, the definition of uh, bamboo activity, co activity carbon is carbonaceous material made from carbonization of bamboo materials and the activation processing. It has much more porous, large specific surface early, strong at substitution capacity. Usually, they are di divided uh, particles, activated uh, carbon, pollen, and uh, modern activated carbon, uh, and so on. The, the, second, uh, uh, the second part, I will talk about your bamboo charcoal produce technology and uh, manufacturers. The first that we are introduce technology of bamboo charcoal. How to obtain the bamboo charcoal? Uh, let this picture where easy to under, understand Bamboo charcoal is a bamboo material which is carbonized under certain technique and uh, uh, technique knowledge conditions through traditional brick uh, earth killing and mechanical killing equipment that have turned a different, uh, different uh, bamboo charcoal. Raw materials of bamboo charcoal usually were to cut two categories. One is bamboo raw materials, include monopodia bamboo and simple bamboo. Another is processing residuals, uh, such as bamboo roots, branches, tops, cans, and shivers. Even if well, they have binding, crack insects, and other defects. In summary, we can use any kind of bamboo materials for bamboo charcoal. Paralysis. Paralysis is the more decomposition of material at an elevated temperature in, in an inner atmosphere. It involves a series of physical and chemical changes. The processes of bamboo can be divided into four stages. Uh, one is drawing. Pre-carbonization and carbonizing, uh, cancelling. There are different uh, temperature and uh, different uh, products, and uh, they have uh, different uh, my class stickers. Uh, now I give two example for 
uh, bamboo charcoal play play deals and the bamboo charcoal play quits. Uh, first, we we'll look at look at bamboo charcoal product process of bring bring care. Use the bamboo material. Uh, then we we'll, are uh, sealing the the killing killing door open. Uh, this stage is. Uh, is uh, the final stage. The temperature is very hot. Then close, uh, then close the killing door. The last stage is. Uh, uh, because uh, Professor Zhang didn't uh, finish his presentation, so we invite Professor Zhang again to we'll continue his Thank presentation. You. Professor Zhang, please. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, please. Yes. OK. So, uh, example of uh, example for bamboo charcoal product process of breaking killing. Look at this picture. After several times of repeat opening and closing of the killing door to control the exercise intake, it is a specific embodiment of the four stage process of bamboo compensation mentioned above. Next example is the bamboo charcoal liquid productive processes. Uh, bamboo powder, joining and suitable bamboo powder, semi finished products, uh, and the brick killing compensation facility. This uh, picture shows a lot like cho charcoal production by killing system, mechanical compensation facility. Uh, this uh, picture shows a bamboo charcoal liquid product. Uh, the second uh, part, manufacture. In China, they have three, uh, 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 three, three generation uh, equipment. The first generation is brick killing. The second is mechanical facility. And the third is modern mechanical facility. Uh, now let's show you some pictures of traditional killing. Look at this picture is a vertical top of traditional killings in China. The left shows uh, some technique plumage, include bamboo, Ever eligibility, bamboo charcoal heat, bamboo vinegar, production cycle, temperature, product qualities. Usually, because the traditional killing is very big, the product quality is not, not good. The second picture is a present top of traditional killing in China. The left shows technique parameters in it's the same as the uh, same as the above the uh, traditional killing. Uh, vertical, vertical top of mechanical killing in China, uh, this uh, left show, shows technique plummet. Uh, this uh, mechanical machine is small than the traditional uh, killing. Uh, now I'll show you uh, this uh, machine for, uh, for modern mechanical, this uh, continuous top. Uh, the left picture shows output of bamboo charcoal 5,000 ton per year, and the right is uh, 2,500 ton per year. This picture shows another, me uh, another mechanical machine output of bamboo charcoal 22 ton per day. The right machine is 6 ton. Uh, per day. So uh, uh, above show uh, four kinds of killings. One is brick killing, and uh, another is mechanical killing. They are different uh, heat form, temperature, charcoal density in killing temperature, difference in waste matter scale, heat rate, productivity, production suck, product quality, pollution, and uh, Eco friendly needs they are different. I think in China nowadays and in the future, 
Well, many companies to use mechanic killing. I, I think it's very important that the mechanic killing is eco-friendly recycling gaseous products and bamboo vinegar. Uh, the third part, uh, probability of bamboo charcoal. The left and the right pictures are the cross and the vertical sections of bamboo charcoal obtained by skinning electron microscope respectively. Different pore size are visual distinguishable, confirm the helical pore stretch of the bamboo bamboo charcoal. Uh, 3.2, physical and chemical property. The physical and the chemical properties of bamboo charcoal should be tested to comply with all the requirements by specifically in the table two. The items include the grading, moisture content, and the H content, and the fixed component. Bamboo charcoal and bamboo charcoal liquid that are different, uh, different uh, index. 3.3 3, fraction of uh, fractional performance. Uh, the first is high glossy scrubicity bamboo charcoal. It's a top of a polarized material that can absorb water vapor in the air. In daily life, bamboo charcoal can be placed indoors or in cover burns and uh, cabbage or under the floor. To relax the humidity and inhibit the propagation of mold and microorganism, in addition, bamboo charcoal can be used as a desiccant center for the storage of rice, knives, clothes, books, and electric appliances. In addition to words, it can also absorb odors such as formidable hard bands ammonia in those skates, as well as other toxic and hazardous substances in the air to purify the air. Bamboo charcoal can be used as shading materials because it is conductive just like metal materials. And on the other hand, there is a large amount of post charge of which can improve the electricity electromagnetic wave absorption properties. The specific MCCT of bamboo charcoal is usually measured at a wavelength of 8 to 14 mu m at 25 centigrade. The emissivity generally varies from 0 to 0 0.8 to 0 0.96 the far inflated emissivity of bamboo charcoal is related to particle size and the phys physical chemical properties, and the latter depends on part on bamboo species and the age. Eat the ball. Bamboo, char bamboo charcoal is mainly used in frozen drink, candy, and barking, and we can use water purification and cooking and so on. The last part, I will talk about the bamboo charcoal applications. The first application is for a good feel application. Bamboo charcoal is an excellent feel for industrial and domestic use due to good calorific value. Another reason is bamboo charcoal very low content of supply and Nitrogen. Another, another application is daily hazard care. Usually, we can join agents. Uh, bamboo charcoal usually considered as a natural humidifier and uh, as food preserve, preservation. Uh, another reason, uh, another application is for personal care. Bamboo charcoal can be applied in cosmetic and personal care products. Uh, we use the bamboo charcoal, they have a far inflated, inflated, we can use bamboo charcoal for padding, bed, brushing, kosher, and a healthcare pack. 
we use bamboo chalk as a how electromagnetic shading. We can use use bamboo as for garment, apron, and mat products for indoor use. Uh, environmental protection for bamboo chalk is very properly used bamboo for water purification. Uh, the first step is for uh, drinking water. The residual chlorine and heavily mentions in, in water can, could be absorbed by polarized bamboo chalk, and water turns slight alkaline, and uh, uh, water soluble, they have, they have many elements. We can use bamboo chalk for cooking. We can use bamboo for waste, 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 waste water management, not to generally remove. remove. We can use bamboo chalk for air purifications, uh, for soil amendment, for the uh, by, uh, by material for uh, soil amendment is very popular in the in in the in the world. We can use bamboo chalk for construction decoration decoration indoor humidity conditionally moisture. Absorption and disorption of bamboo charcoal can make it itself a natural humidity conditionally used indoors. Uh, Ecological friendly painting and panel bamboo charcoal, bamboo charcoal. So I show you some pictures. Uh, this bamboo charcoal and the plastic composite board we we can use for table and uh, and and use in decoration. Uh, in decoration, I think it's in the future they are very, very good uh, uh, in in the decoration material. Bamboo charcoal liquid. Another application for bamboo charcoal, we can use capacitor electrode electrode heat additive and the compensates bamboo charcoal pendants and the window bells. It's a famous, famous product in China, it's be Beijing Apollo and bamboo chalk ceramic. It's a very nice art. We can use bamboo chalk for, uh, for many products of bamboo chalk fiber. Uh, the last application of bamboo vinegar. Bamboo vinegar is a product collected from the, the more decomposition of cellulose and chemocellulose during bamboo carbonization or destructive distillations. Usually divided three, uh, three different, uh, different bamboo vinegar, primitive bamboo vinegar, refined and uh, distillated bamboo vinegar. Bamboo, bamboo vinegar, which Consist of organic acids, bananas, or alcohols, esters, quintos, and uh, hydrochloric compounds, crystalline sterilizations, bacterial resistance, deoxidation, antioxidation, plant growth protein, and insect repairing. So I show you some pictures, uh, pictures of bamboo chalk. Uh, bamboo, uh, bamboo vinegar products, flesh bamboo sap, little food, bamboo uh, board soap, and uh, perfumed soap, uh, uh, toothpaste, and uh, so on. Plant growth agent and uh, fully fertilizer of bamboo vinegar. That's all my presentation. Thank you. Excellent presentation. And uh, sorry, uh, you ha have presented two times. <laughs> yeah, uh, mm -hmm. Professor, oh, Zhang, yeah, Professor Zhang introduced the definition classification of bamboo charcoal and briquettes, and also their production and applicants. So we are happy to know the modern and the automatic bamboo charcoal production lines. For example, the capacity production capacity could be six to twenty tons per day, and five thousand tons per year. This is huge. Yeah. 
So, so we can start from the break queue, meta queue, and the, to the automatic uh, production line. So this is really a uh, great progress for in, uh, bamboo charcoal industrial production. So uh, our audience um, in the future, you can read the ING and you can see this automatic bamboo charcoal production line. And uh, you know, bamboo charcoal is a uh, magic material, as Professor John showed you, so many uses. And uh, for air and water purification, and uh, reduce unhappy poison smell for our environment. And in China and Japan, we have been using bamboo charcoal for our living environment. For example, bamboo charcoal uh, to absorb emission for new car, new furniture, new house, and also the unhappy smell from refrigerator. And uh, and at the same time, sure, bamboo charcoal could substitute for water charcoal for bio uh, energy. So let's, uh, let's us produce and use more and more bamboo charcoal to replace water charcoal to protect our forest, our ass. And uh, OK. Okay. Uh, So because uh, uh, because uh, Professor Zhang uh, 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 speak uh, the how to say, the microphone is not working, so maybe we uh, change to Professor Liu Zhijia and uh, so uh, uh, Professor Liu Zhijia is a researcher at the China International Center for Bamboo and Rattan (ICBR) and he has a PhD title in water science and technology. Professor Liu has been uh, conducting biomass energy uh, research at the USDA Forest Products Laboratory and uh, West Virginia University as a visiting scholar. At ICBR, he has been mainly engaged in carbonization and the same chemical conversation of bamboo biomass to validate the byproducts. And uh, Professor Liu's presentation is the manufacturing technology and the application of bamboo solid fuel. Professor Liu, please. Is OK my PPT for uh, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Is it's yeah. okay, my PPT? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's okay. Okay, everybody. Thanks, uh, uh, Dr. Fu, the introduction of uh, introductions. Uh, today we are talking about uh, the manufacturer technology and application of bamboo solid field. My name is Zhijia Liu, and uh, I work in International Center for Bamboo and Return. My presentation including, uh, included the introduction, fertilization, and the perfection of bamboo residues, and the coherent process of bamboo and coal. Now I introduce the background of biomass, the energy. Why we to uh, develop biomass energies? You know, the area of the fossil fuel crisis and the environmental prices, the greenhouse, there is a great demand for the renewable energy. And the biomass is a type of the carbon based renewable resources and is widely used around the world. Uh, biomass energy provides approximately 14% of the total world energy consumed person and the three. 35% uh, of the energy requirement for the, some developing countries. Biomass is uh, considered as a potential to be carbon dioxide neutral. According to the IEA, by energy test, there is about 40% of electricity produced using the coal in the world. Each percent of the coal can be substituted with the biomass 
This results in a yearly reduction of the approximately 60 million tons of the carbon dioxide. And there is a sample policies and regulations to promote by energy development around the world. For example, the USA plan to use bio oil to replace 10% of fuel oil. And Sweden plan to use the bio energy to replace the 30% energy consumed person in 2020. And in China, biomass will generate 1,000 million water of the electricity to replace the, uh, about 2 million tons of the coal in 2020. Bio energy can be classified as biogas, liquid fuel, and solid fuel. And uh, my research is focused on the pilot. The results of biomass pilot in China including, included the uh, 51% of agricultural residues and uh, 23% of lively livestock with 14% uh, of forest uh, residues, 10% is in the industry waste, and is about 2% of municipal refuse. You know, there is uh, 6.41 uh, million hectares of the bamboo area in China, and during manufacturing process of the bamboo products and the GI is about 50% to 70% of the waste and this waste uh, have a great potential to for developing bamboo pilots in China. So in this research we investigate the effect, uh, effect of the moisture content at particle size on pilot properties and the bonding mechanism of bamboo particles. Comparatively, analysis pilot property from bamboo, wood, and agricultural residues. Analyze the trophic technology of the bamboo residues and the coferring process of trophic bamboo and the wood. Discuss the combustion characteristic of bamboo residues and the coferring behavior of the bamboo and coal. And now uh, I introduce the palletization of bamboo residues. Bamboo waste uh, are very difficult to handle, transport, support, store, and utilize its uh, original form because of its high mass content, irregular shape and size, and low bulk density. And the palletization is an effective method to solve this problem. So the bamboo pallets were manufactured by uh, bamboo residuals with a different mode of content and particle size. And their properties uh, were determined according to US standards is special specification for re re residential and commercial standard and uh, Germany standard for wooden pallets. And this picture shows the bamboo pallet. Uh, this is a bamboo pallet properties. We found the all the properties of bamboo pallet met the requirements of the USA standard, and the gloss calorific value met the requirement of Germany standard. And the, I also found the mass content and particle size affect the properties of bamboo. Pilot. Why? Comprising formation of a different biomass using the natural bonder and bonding type of the particles, including attract attractive force between the solid particles, interfacial force, capillary pressures, adhesive and cohesive force, mechanical interlocking behavior, and the formation of the solid grid. Unless is a uh, SEM figure of the bamboo pilot. We found that the particle and the particle bondings is a solid bridge, and this uh, the bridge it, uh, was made by the natural bonders, including the hemicellulose and the lignate during the pilotization process. process. Uh, we know bamboo have an outside, the middle side, and the inside. The difference of 
chemical composition and the properties of the three parts affect the properties of bamboo pilot. Uh, this picture is a uh, uh, torus modulus of bamboo uh, materials. We found the outside have a hair is a storage modulus and the inside is a alloy uh, storage modulus. And uh, this is the properties uh, play an uh, important role in the pilot uh, formations. When the bamboo particles was compressed to pilot, and they undergo the uh, elastic, elastic deformation and creep. And after pilot was form, formed, bamboo particles undergo the elastic deformation and they recover. The hair is a uh, hair storage modulus led to uh, a big elastic deformation and recovers and the destruction, destructing the natural bonding between the bamboo particles. And the different uh, particle size have a different storage modulus affect the mechanical strength of the bamboo pilot. This uh, future is a uh, glass transition of the um, of bamboo materials. We found the the first the peak uh, correspond to the uh, glass transition temperature of hemicellulose, and the second peak is uh, correspond to the ligand. Uh, according to the black core curves, uh, we found the first uh, peak shift uh, a higher temperature. This is uh, because the natural wax layers uh, on the uh, surface of bamboo and its uh, glass transition temperature is about uh, 40 degrees and he is uh, he is uh, overlapped, uh, overlapped with the hemicellulose and uh, uh, and the shifting and uh, subsequent flow of the wax at the low lower temperature is a problem because it is inhibited the adhesive between bamboo particles during the pellet production. This results in a formation of weak uh, uh, boundary layer that are responsible for the lower mechanical strength of bamboo pilot. Uh, according to the result of the list table, we found that the most con content have a significant, significant, uh, significant impact on the uh, torus modulus and the temperature of grass transition of the uh, bamboo materials and activating Chemicellulose and ligand use the multiple and temperature is very important and helpful to make durable particle and particle bonding. This is the pilot properties of the bamboo wood and agricultural residue. We found the uh, the physical properties of the all the pilots met the requirement of the USA standard. But the ash and the gloss caloric value here uh, of red star pilot can match the requirement of USA standard and the Germany standard. And bamboo pilot uh, own worst physical own physical properties, but he, uh, it uh, exhibits by the combustion process except for the ash and his ash content is higher than the wood pilot. Uh, to improve the, the properties of rice star pilot, the property of pilot manufacturers use a different mixing ratio of bamboo and the rice star particles were determined. Uh, when, uh, we found when the content of bamboo is higher than the 60% of the blend and as content and the gloss color value of the pilot match the requirement of U.S. and Germany standard. Now I introduce the perfection of the bamboo uh, residue. Bamboo with the uh, have a hair, a have a high mouth content, handling cost and a low energy density, limiting its uh, widely spread use. And perfection is a thermochemical process to result in this uh, problem. Uh, the main objective of the perfection is uh, 
30% of the mass loss and the 10% of the energy loss. And this is uh, uh, correlated processing of the bamboo materials. We found the 30% 30, 30 of mass loss uh, corresponding to the temperature, the paralysis temperature of the 300 degrees. Uh, so uh, we provide bamboo residuals with a different tropical uh, temperature uh, of the 200 degree, 250 degree, and 300 degree with a different dividing, dividing times of one hour and point zero hours and two hours. And we found the here, the, the here heating values, this one, uh, of bamboo residuals increase uh, with the increase uh, trophic temperature and the dwelling time. This picture is uh, showed the, according to the this picture, we found the carbon content of the trophic bamboo have a layer relationship with the HHV. And provide bamboo have a low uh, hydrogen to carbon and oxygen to carbon ratios, suggest that the fuel properties of provide bamboo would improve. This is the paralysis of the provide bamboo. We found the pro paralysis processing of provide bamboo with a similar with the bamboo materials, but characteristic peak and provide bamboo shift to higher temperature, indicating they had a more dense state burning and a higher combustion efficiency. This is the combustion properties of the trophide bamboo from the coal, and uh, we found the trophide bamboo have a higher average effective heat of the combustion, this one and the future consuming the, it have a more higher energy, energy density and the combustion intensity. This uh, is the FTR spec spectrum of the trophide bamboo to confirm the, the chemical and the structural transformation. We found the correct peak, peak especially in the fingerprint regions uh, change because uh, of the cellulose Ligne and hemicellulose of the bamboo materials uh, occurred to thermal decomposition uh, during perfection mm, process. Uh, this is a uh, crystallinity of the trophide bamboo. According to the result of the tables, we found the the, uh, uh, the trophide bamboo with the uh, temperature of 200 degree and 250 degree have a higher crystallinity index than compared to the control bamboo. This, due is, this is due to the removal of absorbent water and the volatiles and the paralysis of hemicellulose. A more reason of the uh, cellulose and the part of the lignin during the perfection process. But uh, when temperature temperature is uh, still the increase to 300 degree, the SRD cause the present uh, is detective chip like this uh, here. And uh, this indicates the uh, structural transformation of the bamboo that is the cellulose paralysis gradual, gradually shift from a more more fear region to Crestline region. To get some insight on the formation of paralysis products during the perfection processing, and bamboo residues were paralyzed by the P1 and the GC mass with a 300 degree, we found the main paralysis products, including the more than 10 family of the compounds, such as as uh, alcohol, acid, aldehyde, alkene, ester, ether, furanine, and ketone, and furanine. 
This is a covariant characteristic of curved bamboo and the wood. According to the result of the latest table, we found curved can improve the steel properties of bamboo and wood, increase the fix, fix the, uh, the carbon, uh, this one, and the carbon content is here, and the HHV, and decreasing the volatiles, the moisture, and the oxygen. Compared with the all raw biomass, the content ash fixed the carbon, moisture, nitrogen, nitrogen, and the HHV increase. With the increase of the provide bamboo content in the uh, plant. This is a uh, co-frying process of the bamboo and the wood, and this is the respond to provide the bamboo and provide wood. We found the combustion process simple to include the voluntary emission and the oxygen combustion list here. And as well as the char combustion is here. And the main mass loss of the biomass plant is occurred at the voluntary emission and the oxidation combustion state is here. While the, the mass loss of the perfect biomass occurred at the car combustion state is here. Provide biomass have here initial and burn out temperature. With the increase of the heating rate, combustion process of the simple shift to higher temperature. And to investigate whether signature occurred between the trophied bamboo and the wood during the combustion process, the direct values of mass law were a con Calculate based on the measured value of the per bamboo and the wood according to these the equations. And we found there is no signature during the conversion processing. And this suggests the provide bamboo can be blend, blended with the provide wood with any mixing ratio without consider of the limita limitation of the conversion equipment. This is covariant characteristics of the coal. With, uh, the picture is the figure is a uh, heater released rate. We found the uh, the raw bamboo and the wood the plant have uh, two distinct uh, the release peak of the HHR. The first one is here and the second one is here. But the trophide uh, mm, Provided the blank have the uh, only only peak is here, and the HR HHR peak of the raw biomass is uh, here here then that of the provided by biomass. This is attributed to the heat release of the volatile combustion. This is a total heat release, and we found the. Here is uh, the raw biomass have a three page uh, of the total uh, THR. The first one is here, the second page, and uh, this is the third page. But the profit uh, biomass have a two stage. The first one is here, and this is uh, the second one. This is uh, the CO yield. Of during the combustion process, and there is a two release peak of CO, and the main release of CO occurs at the second stage, uh, uh, which are caused by the increase of temperature and the secondary reaction. And the effect of perfection on CO release is not, uh, uh, not significant. This is a CO2 yield, and uh, similar with the HHR, HRR, the raw plant have a two peak of CO2 emission, the first one and the second one. And the trophic uh, plant have only peak uh, of the CO2 emission. 
Uh, now I introduce the cofiring process of bamboo and coal. Coal is uh, one of the main fossil fuels in China, but utilization of coal uh, results in uh, some environmental problems. And uh, cofiring of biomass and coal is considered as a simple and feasible way to use the biomass with the aim of the reduction of the CO2 emission. This is a uh, combustion of bamboo. This is a uh, trophic bamboo. This is a uh, coal. We found the coal com car, the car combustion of trophic bamboo is seen to coincide with the coal combustion. And the combustion character of trophic bamboo were close to, close to coal, despite the cofiring behavior of bamboo and coal. Uh, this is the cofiring process of the bamboo and coal, and this is trophied bamboo and coal. So we found the coal process of bamboo and coal is separate. And the first one, I think this is the bamboo combustion. And here is the coal combustion. But the cofiring of the trophied bamboo and coal have a combustion zone, especially the black uh, cow. Uh, it's, uh, is a, 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 a combustion zone, indication cofiring of trophied bamboo and coal were more feasible with a suitable combustion process. And this is a synergistic interaction. And we found the car calculating values, the blue, the blue uh, of shift to a high temperature indicated the Synergy occurred during the cofiring of bamboo and the coal. And the presence of bamboo and trophied bamboo improved the thermochemical reactivity of the plant, especially for the coal. Conclusions I think the bamboo pilot uh, uh, could be proposed as a new biomass solid fuel and had a potential to develop it as a commercial pilot. All the properties of bamboo pilot met the requirement of the USA and Germany standard. And the bonding between the bamboo particles was create, created mainly through uh, solid breeze, which uh, were made by natural bonders, including hemicellulose and lignin in the bamboo pilot. The last transition of lignin and hemicellulose was affected by moisture and the, which result uh, in a different particle bond, bonding under the properties of bamboo pallet. The here story, story modulus uh, have a bigger elastic uh, deformation and recover of the bamboo particle, and uh, which destructed the natural bonding between the bamboo particles. Uh, Perfection is an effective way to improve the combustion characteristics of bamboo residuals. Provided bamboo have a low content of moisture and volatile matters, a higher energy density. Characteristic peak of the provided bamboo shift uh, to higher temperature, indicating they have a more steady state burning and a higher, higher combustion intensity. The presence of the bamboo and trophied bamboo improve, improves the thermal chemical reactivity of the coal. Cofiring of trophied bamboo and coal uh, was more feasible with a stable, stable uh, combustion process. There is a synergy during the cofiring process of trophied bamboo and coal. Okay, thanks for your attention. Uh, thank you, Professor Liu. So, Professor Liu uh, have uh, give us uh, excellent presentation. His presentation shows bamboo pellet is a very good biomass energy source. Uh, 
compared to bamboo biomass, bamboo fuel pellet has higher density, higher heating value, and efficiency. You know, bamboo pellet could be has uh, eighty six percent of heating efficiency. It's very high. And uh, it, it uh, could cool fire with wood pellet and also cool fire with coal for power plants uh, to reduce CO2 emission and pollution. And uh, so uh, thank you, Professor Liu, again. And then now we have said the speaker, Mr. Adana Behe. Uh, Ms. Adana is general manager of Ada Industrial PLC in Serbia, and uh, he is a, a board member of Africa, Africa uh, Convention and Exhibition Center, president of Gelan Chamber of Commerce and the Sectoral Association, and he is also founder and board member of Ethiopia Manufacturing Industry Association, and. Uh, 2007, when uh, two, yeah, 2006, uh, I visited Miss Adana's factory first time, and uh, then 2007, and uh, when I visited his factory, I see huge bamboo residues for his bamboo processing for flour for cotton. So we suggest him to produce bamboo charcoal brocade through bamboo waste uh, carbonization, and. Uh, Today and uh, Ms. Adana, uh, he will introduce his uh, Ethiopia bamboo charcoal brocade experience. So, Ms. Adana, please. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Dr. Fu. Thank you very much, for uh, Dr. Fu, for your uh, introducing about my company and my name. Uh, my name is Adana Berhe. Today, I will. Uh, present uh, about Ethiopian bamboo charcoal uh, briquettes adults experience. Uh, Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. My name is Adana Berhe. I'm uh, the CEO already, Dr. Fu says, uh, from Ethiopia, a country found in East Africa, right on the horn of Africa, consisting of 105 million people. Adal was established in September 2006 on an area of 10,000 square meter, 26 kilometers to east of Addis Ababa, capital city of Ethiopia. First, I would like to introduce the company, then I will come to the right to the topic. The bamboo business started in 1995, believing that bamboo business would go forward with technology advancement. We started by producing incense stick manually using knives. The process was not competitive in the market with improving Im Im imported incense stick in quality. Travel to Taiwan for a bigger improvement opportunity for a better quality of production. With the imported technology from Taiwan, Adal was able to produce flooring, plant curtain to speak successfully from Bamboo 2006. Currently, we have started producing virgin craft paper from packaging production products in Ethiopia. It is made from 100% bamboo pulp as part of its integrated model of combining a sustainable alternative with clean technology to save the forest, save the environment, and save the earth. 
as it is stated in the company motto. Bamboo is a member of grass family and it makes excellent charcoal. Bamboo is environmentally friendly since it reproduces itself with a space of a few years. This already uh, previous presenters already said. Charcoal made from bamboo finds ready use in markets. It has been made for thousands of years in pits and even shallow depression. Specially designed brick break clean prov uh, proved an opportunity to make high quality charcoal from bamboo in an efficient, safe, and reliable manner. Charcoal use in industry and domestic sector. Charcoal is produced with many uses in industry and the domestic sector. It is utilized at the village level by blacksmiths and to meet household energy requirements. In the domestic sector, as fuel for cooking and heating. In the service sector, by washerman, restaurant, hotel, and barbecues. In the industrial sector, at different sector of activity in furnace for, for digging and metal working. As raw material for further processing into activate carbon sorry and other industrial products. What is charcoal? Charcoal is a light black porous material resembling coal with about 85% carbon. The it is produced by heating biomass under a system of controlled supply of air. This result in the remo removal of water and other volatile consistencies, wood, sugarcane, waste, rice husk, and bamboo are commonly used for making charcoal. Bamboo charcoal is abundantly and commonly available in the country. It is fast growing and highly renewable resource, unlike timber. It can be harvested every year. Bamboo makes excellent charcoal. It has excellent potential for charcoal production to meet rural energy needs for heating and cooking as industrial fuel and so make products such as activated carbon. Bamboo resource distribution. In terms of bamboo resource, Ethiopia ranks first in Africa and seventh globally consisting 1.5 million hectares of bamboo, of which the highland bamboo has a coverage of about 30% and the lowland bamboo has a coverage of about 70% and this around 68% of Africans total bamboo resource. Good quality of bamboo charcoal, good quality charcoal with the following characteristics and be produced from bamboo. Carbon, 80 to 85 percent, ash 4.5 to 6.5 percent, moisture 6 to 9 percent, calorific value 6,900 to 7,000 kilocalorie per kilogram. The raw material. Any species of bamboo can be used for making charcoal. Four to five years old bamboo makes the best charcoal. It has by then attained its maximum biomass and its moisture and starch level have lowered. To get the best yield of charcoal, the moisture content of the bamboo should be around 
25%. In mainly applications, upper and lower portion of bamboo columns are not used and uh, often throw away. This can be used in charcoal making lobs and tops of bamboo columns and thicker branch can be used too. Bamboo marketing, but the potential has yet to be exploited. An illustrative example is that Chinese earnings from the export of bamboo products are in hundreds of million in US dollar. This is Chinese, whereas Ethiopian's share does not correspond to her ranking. There are three steps in the making traditional wood charcoal in Ethiopia. Lamb charcoal. First, destruction of the forest for the raw material, wood. Second, carbonization follows. Carbonization is done by burning the woods with little oxygen being covered by mud. Packaging and distribution. This is the third one. After carbonization, the carbonized coal gets out of the mud. It gets manually packed, then become distributed for consumption. Cycle of charcoal, as you've seen on the picture, traditional way of making charcoal had three easy steps, but it was not never easy for our world, environmental or ecosystem to function and interact. The effect of traditional charcoal, the traditional way of making charcoal in Ethiopia is predicted to bring famine and desertification even if it is a way of living, which is why Adar come up with bamboo briquettes, charcoal. Intro Adal industry policy. Adal was established with the motto, save the forest, save the environment, save the earth, to stop the destruction of forest and all the consequences that come along with destruction of tree. Adal has brought the motto into action by manufacturing charcoal briquettes made by the eco-friendly plant known as bamboo as a raw material instead of wood. Charcoal uses, a previous presenter already said about this charcoal, how it is used for uh, refrigerator order and uh, uh, regulated of the controlling of the egg conditioner as already repeated this statement from the previous presenter. Charcoal has mainly used the Western uses carbonized charcoal to regulate room temperature. Furthermore, during the hot season, carbonized charcoal briquettes could substitute air conditioner. It is still available on the market for the same purpose. Interestingly, it has been shown the strange order in refrigerators and shoe rankers can be avoided with charcoal. Charcoal uses in Ethiopia, cooking briquettes, in Orthodox church ceremony and traditional coffee ceremony. We strive for excellent in quality, pursue meticulous manufacturing, pursue perfection, and pass on the spirit from generation to generation. Create quality products that are interestingly integrated with nature. The development of bamboo and the acceleration of modern bamboo technology needs greater attention. Suitable areas for growing bamboo have to be exploited to large extent. 
firms engaged in the manufacturing of bamboo needs encouragement to get in order to respond to local demands and go into the international market eventually. I thank you very much for your attention and uh, listening to my presentation. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Adana, uh, for your excellent presentation. And uh, I think Ms. Adana is a pioneer of bamboo industry in Africa, and uh, both for his bamboo floor, incense stick, and also bamboo charcoal and uh, bamboo charcoal brocade production. So I, I, I think he is the first person in Africa to have this kind of bamboo products. And uh, yeah, he has shared his experience on bamboo charcoal and the brocade production because bamboo charcoal and the brocade has greater potential for biomass energy market. Imba will cooperate with partners, stakeholders to promote bamboo charcoal, brocade, production and marketing. Thank you, uh, Ms. Adana again. So thank you, Professor Zhang and uh, Professor Liu and uh, uh, Ms. Adana again. And uh, now is our time for question and answer. So first, uh, we have a question for Professor Zhang. Mm -hmm. uh, moment, yeah. Okay. So, so what is what is the difference between charcoal and the biochar? Biochar, yeah. Uh, charcoal and the biochar. I uh, I think uh, biochar is a big uh, definition in uh, include uh, include the bamboo charcoal. Biochar we can use use. Uh, Biomass material, bamboo charcoal only use bamboo material. I think, uh, uh, by char include bamboo charcoal. Okay, yeah. we're also concerned that bamboo charcoal is a kind of by by char. Yeah. So. Okay. Or oh, uh, yeah, maybe also I need to uh, add a little about the biochar and the bamboo charcoal. So you uh, you uh, you know uh, biochar I think is uh, mainly used maybe for we say for the agriculture land and uh, yes, we yes. can uh, uh, use charcoal, wood charcoal or bamboo charcoal to the soil. We can improve the soil quality, property, and make the soil uh, can. Uh, retain water and fertilizer, and uh, uh, yeah, yes. uh, it's better quality for for roads uh, growth. So yes, so yes. biochar, yeah, yeah. Mm. So the the yeah the the uh, now uh, the first question for Professor Liu. Uh, can you tell uh, us the testing method for? Activation of bamboo charcoal. Professor Liu, please try. Uh, please unmute your microphone. Is OK? Can you? Yeah, even? yeah. OK. Yeah, uh, so I think uh, there is uh, some standard for test uh, activation charcoals for Chinese standard and uh, I think the important properties uh, of the activation charcoal uh, is uh, the chemical composition and the poor characteristic and uh, in my research we re, uh, we use the, the elemental analysis analyzer, analyzer uh, for the uh, test uh, testing the elements of the activation carbon. Uh, for, uh, for example, the carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and uh, hydrogen. And uh, FTIR and uh, all X-ray photoelectrospectral spectroscopies is STIS. 
uh, for test uh, the chemical composition on the surface of, of the activation charcoal. And we use the S3 diffraction pattern, to SRD, for the correct uh, linearity of the activation char 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 charcoal. And uh, SEM and TEM for the morphology of the, the activation carbon. And we use the, the nitrogen for the absorption and the desorption for, this, um, for testing the pro characteristic. Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Professor Liu. And uh, now, uh, we have uh, one question for Dr. Uh, for, for Mr. Adana. Uh, so, Mr. Adana, uh, the audience, one audience asked you, uh, did you start export your bamboo charcoal products for, for foreign country, for overseas country, for overseas market? Actually, uh, when we started this bamboo charcoal briquettes, we exported to Middle East. Uh, nowadays, a demand is very high in local, so we supply to local market. Overseas market, there is a little bit uh, problem of uh, landlocked Ethiopia, so land transportation is mag uh, magnified the unit price of the charcoal, so we are not competitive for uh, international market. So local market is very demanding and very uh, good market we have in local. So we supply currently for local. There is one question that I have seen in uh, uh, bam bamboo per ton is $55 possible for making charcoal. That is probably I want to say something about this uh, question. Is it possible, Dr. Fu? May I give it yeah, some yeah, uh, yeah, please, clarification? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Actually, currently in Ethiopia, there is not uh, actually $55 per ton. Per ton, about $90 a bamboo. Currently, we are using this bamboo charcoal making is from leftover of the production process of flooring, license stick, two sticks and curtain. From this process, there is a lot of leftover bamboo. So we utilized for charcoal briquettes. We are not directly utilized the bamboo charcoal a whole calmus. Leftover bamboo calmus we, have. we are using and producing and getting a competitive market in local. So, Ms. Adana, uh, there is another question for you and uh, the audience like to know how big is bamboo charcoal market in Serbia compared with water charcoal? Uh, there is very abundant wood charcoal in local. Because as I have shown on my presentation, there is a big destruction of wood uh, in rural area. Most of the ferments uh, living uh, with this uh, pro charcoal processing, wood charcoal processing, and a lot of uh, market over there uh, on wood uh, market, but it is illegal, not legal. Probably in our area there is proso pieces that is utilized legally, but not registered legally. That also abundant in the local market. Proso pieces, uh, wood, charcoal making, abundant market and abundant production in local. Bamboo charcoal briquettes making and processing only in our factory in Adal. That I've told you before, processing from the leftover bamboo, uh, we are utilized by clean and charcoal briquettes we are using there. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I believe yeah, bamboo charcoal has a very good market because in Ethiopia, every day you drink a minimum two times coffee, you have to use water charcoal before, and now you can use bamboo charcoal to cook your coffee. 
Yeah, so yes. thank you, uh, Mr. Dan. And uh, then uh, another question for Professor Zhang. So many audience ask the market of bamboo charcoal in the world, and it's also just how many tons you estimate the bamboo charcoal uh, market. As I know, I think uh, I know there are 200,000 tons of bamboo charcoal uh, production per year in China. So can you estimate uh, uh, bamboo charcoal market in the world, Professor Zhang, please. Professor Zhang. Professor Zhang, please unmute yeah, your yes. microphone. I think uh, this is a good uh, question for uh, Doctor Fu, but uh, for me, I think uh, it's very difficult to answer this uh, question. Uh, but I know by Bochaga markets, I think, uh, but uh, uh, maybe 10 years ago, I think uh, Japan and the South Korea, the, uh, the, the market very, very well, but uh, recently, yes, they are have reduced. But I think in Ethiopia, in Africa, and uh, North, uh, North America, there are many countries uh, they, they, they have uh, bamboo. Uh, bamboo charcoal markets, but uh, yes, uh, last year in as I know, as I know, in Zhejiang, uh, some companies uh, many bamboo charcoal uh, export in in American. There, I know yeah, there are two big uh, uh, supermarkets in American. For example, Costco, Costco. There are many uh, bamboo. Uh, bamboo charcoal products. There is uh, use bamboo. Uh, bamboo charcoal. Bam, uh, how to say pad, 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 uh, bamboo charcoal pad for absorb absorb the odors. So I think uh, I cannot clearly tell you the uh, actually details, but I think. Uh, uh, recently, yes, all over the world, uh, uh, bamboo chalkers they have big, uh, big markets, <laughs> big markets. Yeah, uh, so I think in the future, more and more countries will be use use bamboo charcoal. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Professor John. Uh, maybe also I add um, a little about this question. And uh, 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 as your presentation shows, bamboo charcoal has many uses. So we need yeah. to raise the awareness of the consumer and let them to know uh, bamboo charcoal has so much uses. For example, first the bamboo charcoal was uh, used in Japan, then and they import bamboo charcoal from China. And then also, for example, I, I love Mr. Chen Wen Zhao, and you, uh, yeah, you are from the home county, home, uh, same county. And he produced bamboo charcoal 1997. So first he uh, exported his bamboo charcoal for Japanese market, yeah. So then yes. later the total county, many people follow him and they produce bamboo charcoal yes. at the beginning only for Japanese market. Then now yes. in, in China, most consumers know bamboo charcoal is a very good uh, deodorant, can reduce the uh, uh, pollution, uh, the, from the new car, new furniture, new house, and they also use the bamboo charcoal for reduce the unhappy smell from refrigerate. So, for example, I have the bamboo charcoal uh, powder uh, package in my car to reduce the yes, emissions yes. from plastic items of it's car. Nice. And uh, yeah, also I. Uh, uh, when I move to an apartment, I use bamboo charcoal to reduce this uh, unhappy poison smell from the new furniture, new new painting. So I think we need to educate the consumer, let them to know bamboo charcoal has so many magical uses. And uh, I think for for South Sahara region and the. Uh, uh, more, uh, the, the biomass uh, take up about 80 to 90 percent of energy consumption. So this is a huge demand for 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 bamboo uh, for bamboo charcoal. So we can use bamboo charcoal replace wood charcoal. And uh, 
So it's a huge market, yeah. And uh, also, yes. even for European and the US market, uh, we can use bamboo charcoal briquette for for barbecue. So and uh, we and uh, as I know, and uh, this uh, Australia company import import uh, imported uh, bamboo charcoal uh, for Australia market uh, for barbecue. Okay. So I think uh, so many we can use bamboo charcoal as uh, briquette export to to. Uh, to uh, USA and uh, and the European market and uh, for 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 household energy yeah for barbecue yeah so I think this is a very important question yeah thank you thank you yes. this audience raised uh, several audience raised these questions and uh, yeah there are many questions for Professor John again and uh, yeah uh, so. Uh, so Professor John, uh, because you mentioned the bamboo vinegar, so so the people think uh, asked, uh, can we use bamboo vinegar as uh, anti COVID nineteen agent? Can you can you <laughs> answer this question? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, back your pardon. Can you speak uh, again? Okay, uh, 这个是这是一个非常好的问题啊，就是说这个抗菌的话，就我们进行过这个各个呃部门检测过，确实它能够抗菌。比如说菌的话，比如大肠杆菌什么的，它能够达到百分之九十几啊，这个是经过很多的检
the new the new COVID situation. So, but uh, actually, you everybody knows that in China there used to be uh, in 2003 it used to be SARS, which is a similar uh, coronavirus um, to to this new one, and. Um, and uh, by then uh, we have developed, a professor said we have developed a product uh, is for hand cleaning, uh, for hand, uh, uh, how to say, uh, to remove the virus on the hand, um, antiseptic. So uh, that product is uh, also very product, uh, uh, very effective and, uh, and uh, it has very good market. So, but we uh, we really can't say now because we didn't do the relative test about uh, uh, this uh, product for for the present COVID virus. Uh, we we need still to do some researches and tests. Uh, yeah, also I ate a little and as I know uh, in, uh, in uh, you know in the chicken farm and before they used the bamboo vinegar. Uh, how to say to cure the bed floor, the disease virus of bed floor. So, but in China, uh, if you commercially sell this kind of products, you have to get the permission from the Ministry of Agriculture. So, I think in the future we we have to study further and uh, try to get the permission, and uh, then we can use uh, this bamboo vinegar for this area uh, commercially and in large scale. And uh, yeah, I, another question, uh, I think, uh, yeah, um, um, so also for the mark, yeah, this, uh, this one audience asked the bamboo carbon sequestration and the climate mitigation potential of bamboo products. So maybe I, I try to uh, uh, answer this question. So you uh, actually uh, bamboo uh, is a very good uh, uh, plant uh, for carbon sequestration. For example, uh, we have this reports and uh, in the managed bamboo plantation, uh, bamboo, uh, bamboo plantation can uh, subsequent more carbon than, uh, than uh, forest plantation, than tree plantation. Yeah, because uh, every year we remove uh, bamboo can from the bamboo plantation and they produce durable bamboo products like bamboo floor, bamboo furniture, bamboo house, and uh, uh, this CO2 are uh, uh, sequestrated in these durable products. So uh, also uh, if, uh, if this, uh, for example, we use bamboo for, for heat, for the power plant, for the cooling tower, each cooling tower uh, need uh, about 700 ton bamboo. So because in China, this uh, bamboo products uh, is listed in the low carbon catalog. So the, the power plant, power company can get a subsidy uh, from, from government if they use bamboo uh, material replace plastic uh, and uh, because they reduce CO2 uh, and they, uh, yeah. So uh, I think uh, uh, we first uh, we have to develop this methodology to measure uh, the bamboo uh, carbon sequestration uh, for different bamboo products and then uh, promote uh, bamboo uh, products uh, listed in low, low carbon catalog of national and international. And then uh, we, we, we can sell the bamboo products and at the same time we also can get this uh, income from from carbon sequestration and uh, yeah this is um, uh, my answer um, yeah I, I check uh, again uh, new questions from my colleague Jim Wei yeah so, 
Oh, uh, yeah, thank you, Dorsey, from, from Philippines. And uh, yeah, uh, you mentioned that this uh, ISOTC uh, 296. Uh, yeah, thank you uh, to join uh, our webinar. And uh, this is another question, the color value and the flow image. Fubo,我想这个是给智家的,他问这个,在这个燃烧过程当中的这个,他的这个热量,呃,释放是不是稳定的?呃,那行,那行。而且有没有那个,那个emission of flu,flu,flu,我不知道是emission Jack 我认为这个就注意后面这两点就说。So you know, for bamboo vinegar, there are more than 2,000 components. Some is poison. So we have to refine, refine bamboo vinegar. And we only uh, use this useful and uh, safe material for uh, disinfection and um, so so we cannot use uh, a raw vinegar for disinfection so we should be careful yeah and another is we have to get the government permission when we produce and say sell these products yeah and make sure all these products are safe and uh, allowed by the government and uh, yeah also, uh, you know, by uh, this March, uh, when COVID-19 uh, yeah, pandemic uh, happened in China, so we also, uh, for Yimba office, we also bought some bamboo charcoal masks from, from, from Sichang, from the company in Zhejiang province. So actually, this is another use. We use bamboo charcoal for uh, uh, aid, aid in the mask and uh, to protect our, uh, our, our, our body and against uh, the virus. So this is another use. And also uh, maybe it's not for bamboo charcoal and also another company produce bamboo fiber mask. So later, uh, uh, yeah, Zhijia's colleague, uh, Mr. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Hai Tao, uh, yeah, Miss uh, Hai Tao, Dr. Hai Tao, and uh, he has some sample of bamboo fiber masks. Yeah, so hope uh, um, yeah, you may talk with him in the future. So I think it's, yes, there are so many uh, secrets from bamboo charcoal, bamboo charcoal, vinegar, and uh, we don't know the use, so we needed the more research. And uh, uh, so we we yeah so I think uh, yeah so any any other question? Doctor? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I I answer the the, the calorific value that you mentioned. Okay. Okay. The, yeah, the please. Problem. I, uh, in my research, I didn't taste the the calorific value and the thorough emission of the different part of bamboo. 
but I think the the properties including the color risk value and the flow emission is a, a slightly different uh, uh, among the, the different part part of the bamboo uh, because the the less uh, the properties is depend on the chemical composition of the bamboos and uh, uh, we know the the different parts of the bamboo have a different chemical composition and the, the content and I think uh, uh, the there is a uh, effective uh, calorific value and the root emissions is okay do you understand okay thank you Pro uh, professor Liu so uh, I found an mask uh, yeah in, uh, include the bamboo charcoal inside maybe you can you can see it here yeah? so this is bamboo charcoal mask we embark off the boat uh, in this March yeah for our embark colleagues yeah so yeah so us yeah and uh, yeah the, you know in March uh, the mask is very difficult to get it uh, from the market and uh, so so I think uh, it was good news for for us uh, in March we also use bamboo charcoal masks. So I, I think now we the time is uh, is uh, over and uh, so we we uh, I I like to thank uh, Professor John, Professor Liu, Miss Adana again for your excellent uh, presentation and also uh, I like to thank our audience for your participation and the questions. And uh, later, uh, if you send uh, your email address, and the team we we are send your other questions uh, didn't answer. Yeah. So also I like to thank uh, my colleague uh, Miss Jim Wei and Miss Liu Qingfei for their help to make this session happen. After this session, Yimba will up, uh, upload this session recording online, so you can watch it uh, later. And uh, also before the session, we also played a uh, uh, very uh, interesting video about the bamboo charcoal and uh, its uses. So you are welcome to watch it later. Uh, uh, you can find this link by Imba website. So you uh, after this session, uh, we we will have uh, our fifth session on 22nd September. And also the same time, uh, seven city Beijing time, and uh, the topic is about the bamboo machine and the equipment. Uh, Jim, any other issue? Jim, open your ma uh, microphone. Uh, we we have uh, some more questions uh, about uh, market and uh, also about uh, the. Mm, power generation issue, but anyway, uh, uh, we, we uh, can answer later. It's, 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 it's about the charcoal or about the pellet for power generation. Um, one uh, pellet, a uh, biomass, biomass pellet, power yeah, generation. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, I think if you last two years ago, and this Chinese company, uh, like to produce uh, bamboo uh, pellet uh, from Ethiopia to export uh, to, to to Europe for the power uh, power plant. So so I think uh, uh, this is a huge market. So for example, in European market, uh, if you use coal, you you are uh, pollution, your CO2 uh, emission we are more than the limitation of government. Uh, uh, give you so if if uh, from Professor Liu's presentation, so we can add a bamboo chuck, a bamboo pellet, and coal together. We can bend this both. Then at the same time, we can reduce the CO2 emission, and also we can reduce the pollution for CFA from other uh, poison material. So so this is a very great potential for to use bamboo pellet uh, for power plant. Okay. Uh, 然后Blanca问了一个, uh, 
竹炭的全世界的市场和这个竹呃活性炭的呃这个全世界的市场，他们两个呃相比较起来，就是呃让看一下未来，就是近近近几年，呃让张老师回答一下吧。<笑> Active carbon. Yes. And as uh, Blanca has asked about uh, the near future is from world market about bamboo charcoal and bamboo activated carbon. Yeah. 就是在中国啊，还是全世界啊？哎，全世界。就二零二一年，二零二一年啊。哎。我认为，我一个从中国的数据估到全球这个，你看准不准确？我的百分之十五到二十，然后这个这个。做活性炭的话是百分之十，主要是有，我一下记不了这个数据，因为有个全球的这个，这个这个数据，这个这个预测到到大概十年产量多少，然后我们是按照今年的数据再过十年再预测过去的，就是说，嗯，就是具体的要不要我那个那个一下子弄弄不出来，然后你对他说这个，呃。就是根据根据这个中国，我再写一下你。根据中国这个问题，你还有你对刘老师啊，你讲具体确切的，我二十一号也开会，我当时做了个 PPT， 我有点记不清楚了，就到时候还给他详细的这个说，就估计二零二零年我们回来两二十万吨，根据中国的这个数据，可能可能一个是百分之十五以上，一个是百分之十左右，主要是在环境里面跟 VOC 这个里面大大的使用，因为我们国家。环境治理的要求了，所以推测，呃，因为活性炭的话，呃，还有的话就是煤质、木质活性炭、椰子壳，椰子壳本来全球比较少，木质活性炭的不是木材，不是禁止，煤质活性炭的话，因为有硫，全世界都在逐渐的禁止，所以做做纸的可以当做是一种第四种的活性炭的料，所以一方面本来活性炭量不多，另外一方面煤质活性炭因为硫啊什么禁止，木质活禁止，所以。这个相当于替代一个新的产品，这样这样子，我想就是肯定会一个新的增长点，就是说，但是全球自己一下子海关资料拿不来，就是说这个意思。嗯，您是指这个二零二一年估计是生产活性炭二十万吨吗？哎，对，七十万吨不是，我现在可能当时估计，我当时不是这个这个没有这个，我怎么估计可能啊，错了，百分之十到十五是占市场比例吗？占。就增长的速度不是占比例啊，增长速度百分之十到十五。OK， 对。呃、uh, ，Professor Zhang has answered the question about、uh, the bamboo charcoal market and bamboo activated carbon market in two two t h o u s a n twenty one. So according to the figures from ISO, um, he he made some estimations, um, and uh, he think uh. There might be more productions. There, there might be an increase of of the productions of bamboo charcoal and deactivated carbon um, due to the COVID situation. Um, there's more needs for this kind of uh, uh, products for treatment of the waters and uh, and also for disinfect uh, disinfection. Um, um, as well as and um, people are more concerned with the uh, environment and because of the charcoal can help um, improve the uh, soil condition and, and also can purify the so uh, can can uh, treat the sewage so um, and uh, also um, he specifically mentioned about the activated carbon uh, market and because originally the activated carbon came from the wood and also coal, uh, which is fossil based, and um, and uh, another is the uh, coconut shell. And so bamboo now has become the fourth source for activated carbon. And uh, therefore, there's an estimation that um, mm, because the other three, uh, mm, the wood and uh, especially wood and coal, uh, our country like China has very specific uh, 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 requirements for using of uh, uh, fossil based materials and uh, uh, not renewable resources, therefore, and, and they uh, people, the, the producers, the manufacturers are urged to use new um, materials like bamboo and the coconut shell. So therefore, um, more produce, more manufacturers are switching to bamboo. 
And so he is increasing, uh, he is estimating there, there will be a 10 to 15 percent of market increase um, in the uh, in the in the coming year. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I see. Two hundred thousand tons. So all the fossil fuel the量啊，估计二零二年二百二十万吨，中国七十万吨是所有火星炭的量，包括木质、煤质这个火星炭的量。So he said the the world's total uh market is uh uh two 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 point two million two point two million tons, and uh, China's production is uh so uh. Uh, seven thousand, seven thousand, uh, no, seven hundred, <laughs> seven hundred thousand tons. So, um, and so this this is uh, the total market for activated carbon. So it includes coal, wood, and uh, coconut. And uh, bamboo share is probably now very low. Uh, but it is uh, it has potential for increasing if there's more manufacturers can can start to produce activated carbon from bamboo. So, uh, so thank you, um, Professor Zhang and also Miss Jinwei. And because many audience have interest to know the ma uh, marketing or uh, trade value of bamboo charcoal. So I suggest you can check uh, World Custom uh, Organization or UN Trade and uh, also in Inba website. We we have this uh, annual uh, uh, trade value of bamboo and rattan products. For example, through Inba's efforts in 2007 and 2017, and the uh, World Customs Organization have uh, increased 24 uh, trade quarters specifically for bamboo and the rattan products, even one quarter for bamboo charcoal. For example, in, in before, uh, uh, bamboo charcoal has low cord, and uh, many countries uh, is, uh, is, was not allowed to export water charcoal to international market because water charcoal cause deforestation and the damage the environment. So water charcoal is not allowed in many country to export. So now after inbus efforts and the water custom has a specific code for char water for bamboo charcoal. So we can we can legally export the uh, bamboo charcoal to to any countries. So so uh, this is good news and uh, you can check Yimba website and the UN trade and the water customs organization to get the annual trade value for bamboo, charcoal and, uh, and also other products. So uh, OK, uh, thank you very much and uh, uh, the time is, uh, is much late and uh, so we we thank you again and I hope to see you uh, 22nd, uh, 22nd of September and for uh, our session Bamboo Machinery. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.